Oh, shit. I got my own TV show now. It's kind of picked up on a network. Yeah. It's kind of picked up on a network. Welcome to Detroit Post Production, show number one of our discussions topics. Topic number one. Leaving rehab early isn't cool no more. No, it's not. No. You're 30 fucking years old. Get a job. You're not on your own. You choose to be on your own. It was cool back in high school when we didn't know what was going on in our lives. Soon you're gonna be 50 years old and you're not gonna be able to work. Get a job. Maybe your dick will start working and you can find a girlfriend. Put a little bit of stability in your life. You're slowly starting to see bike lanes take over Detroit. Have you not been to LA or New York? Old ass bikers are cruising, speeding down the side of the road, sweating, puffing, huffing all crazy think they're riding a marathon or something. In all reality, they're going slow as shit, breathing so heavy that it's louder than the bass in the 18-year-old's four-door cutlass right next to you. When really, you're just moving slow as shit, swerving in the lane, cutting the person next to me off. Next thing you know, you got a biker on your hood ornament. You can't honk your horn at them because it's fucking illegal. The new phenomenon sweeping the world is the talking emoji poop feature on the new iPhone 10. Who wants to talk as a shit? And secondly, and most of all, and the next point, who wants to receive that shit? Can you talk as the other emojis? Can I talk as a smiling thumbs up face? I wish I was in that Apple meeting. I want to know who came up with that. Great job. Awesome new feature. Talk text. I know it's an awesome feature and it's great for driving. Seriously, when you gotta have a full blown conversation with your phone, you know the person you're sending it to has a five page text on their phone. Who wants to read a five page text? Have you ever heard of a, hey, I'll shoot you a quick text. Short, clean. No one wants to sit there and scroll. If you have to scroll in a text, it's too long. This next topic goes to my tobacco chewers out there. If you can't gather 30 bottles, 30 dimes, or what, four, eight, 12, 12 quarters just to get a can of $3 tobacco, it's not expensive, but if you just so happen to be a part of that group where you can't afford tobacco, I've been there. Be polite about it. Oh, no one wants the guy. Hey, can I get a pinch of your tobacco? If you just so happen to be in a close-knit circle of friends that you have another friend that chews tobacco and he offers you his can. Hey, can I borrow your can? <laughs> no one has to pack it that tight, first of all. Second of all, a pinch, a little pinch. If you gotta just pack that shit and... And you're taking three quarters of the can? Chill out, bro, it's not yours. Be polite about it. You weren't raised in a barn, but then again, if you're chewing tobacco, you probably were. What topic is this? One, two, three. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Topic number six, and dumb polite rule number one, opening the door for others. If you see me walking up to the door and you're behind me or and in front of me and you're coming out and I'm holding the door open for you, at least you could do is walk through it. I'm not just holding the door open because I want to work out and hold a five pound door open like this and get some exercise or something. I'm holding the door open for you. All right, here you go, ma'am. Here you go, sir. Here you go, old lady. Something of that nature. And then you go through the other door. Well, makes me feel like kind of an idiot. The Dunning-Kruger effect. Yes, this is a real effect made up by real scientists at Cornell University. The problem with groups of friends is there's always that one ignorant friend you got in every group. Don't matter how many groups there are, or anything like that at school, there's always one ignorant friend in each group. If you don't know who that friend is, it's probably you. And the most ignorant friend is usually the one that's the most sure of themselves. This has been scientifically proven. Of the least competent person in your friend group is usually the most sure of themselves. I remember when I was feeling pretty confident back in fifth grade, I thought I knew everything. Then I started real school and I realized how ruined I was. Cashiers, clerks, whatever you want to call yourselves. You guys ain't bankers. I don't want to hear how much 
is on my card if I swipe it and it's declined, all right? I will kindly pull out another card, get some cash, go to my car and get some change, or ask my girl for a couple bucks. Oh, sorry, you only have 17 cents on your card, and you're standing there all stupid with people looking around you and everything. Of course I'm going to try, because if it just so happens to go through, I'm golden. I like what we were just doing here, having our little discussion and of our topics. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, or if you would like to bring up any topics of your own, please subscribe below. I know it might not seem like much now, but it's evolving and it's getting there. We're going to drop a lot more stuff. If you didn't click the subscribe button today, and you're watching my videos tomorrow, you'll have another chance to click subscribe. So I would just say click it now. I'll wait. Oh, and if you guys don't know what DPP is... It's Detroit Post Production. Stay down with me. Hang out with me. Hope you click the subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow. Same DPP channel. Same DPP time. <laughs>